Vice President Joe Biden said he is proud of last night's Democratic presidential debate, but if he was looking for a reason to jump into the race, he likely didn't find it. Hillary Clinton dominated, and Nancy Cordes was there. If all of the new income Clinton and Sanders clashed from the start over gun control. Is Bernie Sanders tough enough on guns? No, not at all. Capitalism. And I think we should look to countries like Denmark. We are not Denmark. I love and it. how to rein in Senator big banks. And I went to Wall Street in December of 2007, before the big crash that we had, and I basically said, cut it out. Quit foreclosing on homes. You do not, Congress does not regulate Wall Street. Wall Street regulates Congress, and we have got to break off these banks. Clinton was ready when all four criticized her 2002 vote to go to war in Iraq, which she now calls a mistake. I recall very well being on a de debate stage, I think about 25 times with uh, then Senator Obama, debating this very issue. After the election, he asked me to become Secretary of State. But Sanders came well, to Clinton's rescue right. on the issue that has dogged her the most. That the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? Some people are going to say that you gave her a big gift. I don't know that I gave her a big gift, but what I said was true. Let us talk about the real issues. Of the three candidates polling near zero, former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley had the strongest night. We passed comprehensive uh, gun safety legislation. If Vice President Joe Biden was hoping for a front runner to falter, it didn't happen. And Clinton's campaign manager said today it's time for him to make up his mind. All Biden shared today was this brief assessment of the night. I was proud of, of the, I yeah. thought they all did well. Biden's backers insist there is still room for him in this race, even if the others exceeded expectations. One advisor told me today, Scott, that if he does jump in, voters will forget all about that first debate and focus on the second one here at Drake University in Iowa next month. Nancy Cordes. Thanks, Nancy.